Here's a picture of me many years ago, and here's a picture of me now. Sometimes it's kind of cool to do these side-by-side -side comparisons. All right, enough of me though. I have found the best examples of before and after pictures, including people, cities, and just about everything in between. I'm Danny Burke, I'm very excited for this. This is the top 10 insane before and after pictures. Starting off at number 10 now, we have downtown Dubai. Dubai is a city that sprung out of the desert like the oil that paid for it. You guys might think that some places have changed quickly quickly around you, but they have nothing on this city in the United Arab Emirates. I could choose many pictures to show you guys how quickly things have changed there, but this might be my favorite. The top picture is what downtown Dubai looked like in 2006, and the bottom is how it looked just nine years later in 2015. It's been built so quickly that I'm still not quite convinced it's not just a cardboard movie set. May have to go and see it for myself. All right, next up at number nine now, we have Zombie Boy. Known to his family as Rick Jenis. Zombie Boy was known around the world as being the guy who tattooed himself head to toe in a full body skeleton piece, complete with brains sticking out of the top and muscles clinging to the bones. Now this is a before and after image of him, but it's not how you think it is. The one of him with no tattoos is actually the after. He simply had the tattoos covered up with makeup by professionals. If you enjoyed this, I highly recommend you go and watch the full video. It's only about three minutes long and it is amazing. Okay, at number eight, Right now, we have Charla Nash. This woman was visiting her friend in 2009 when the friend's pet chimp started to maul her. The 200 pound chimp called Travis was a fully grown male, about six times stronger than a human. Police arrived on scene and shot him dead, saving Charla's life, but not her face. Travis had ripped it apart, leaving her unrecognizable. Since then, she has had a number of operations, regaining her sense of smell and ability to eat along the way. However, she is still blind. This before and after after image is astounding and a stark reminder of the power of some animals. Coming in at number seven now, we have Jim Wolf. This United States Army veteran was struggling with homelessness and alcoholism when he volunteered for a physical transformation. The channel called Rob Bliss Creative uploaded a video showing a time lapse of the transformation, and in the end, the before and after picture says it all. Jim was given help to get himself back on his feet, including treatment for his alcohol addiction, and the following year, he was living on his own, paying his way, and was an entirely new man. Next up at number six now, we have New York. In 2009, National Geographic published an article showing a view of the Big Apple like nobody had seen before. Using advanced computer reconstruction, they presented a picture of New York in 2009, and one of it in 1609, 400 years before, the year that explorer Henry Hudson would have first laid eyes on it. The coastline is as it would have been, even the trees and plants have been accurately recreated in their place. Some people find this picture amazing, but others say it's a sad reminder of humans just paving over nature. What do you guys think? At number five now, we have Barack Obama. At the start of 2017, President Obama officially stepped down from his position. Someone had the bright idea of comparing how he looked at the start with how he looked at the end. This was the result. On the left is Obama just after winning the election, about to take up the presidential role in January 2009. On the right is him eight years later. Obviously, being leader of the United States or any country is a stressful job, and a lot of people said you can see that in the after picture. On the other hand though, eight years can be a long time, and maybe Obama just aged. What do you guys think? Coming at number four now, we have Lucia Pitalis. This woman went viral a few years ago for her incredible makeup skills. With little more than a brush and some paint, she can transform herself into just about any celebrity you could imagine. Again, I'm not very good at choosing the best one, so right now you're seeing a selection of her work. She's so good that a lot of people think it must have been edited, but Lucia will often show the makeup process step by step to prove that she's not a fake. It's a little bit scary how well you can mimic someone's face with just makeup. Maybe I am Lucia wearing Danny Burke makeup. Who knows? Next up at number three now, we have 50 Cent. In 2016, rapper 50 Cent shared a picture of him preparing for a role in the movie Things Fall Apart, where he plays a high school footballer diagnosed with cancer. Now, as you can see from this side-by-side -side comparison, he looks like an entirely different human being. Usually, he sits at about 214 pounds with muscles, but for this film role, he dropped down to 160. Borderline dangerous for a man of his height. Now, say what you want about the movie, you have to admire 
admire this kind of dedication. I just think it's crazy how different people can look depending on their weight. Next up at number two now, we have special effects. I really couldn't choose my favorite for this, so I'm gonna lump them all into one. Special effects have gotten so good over the years in the movies that sometimes the only clue that what you're seeing isn't real is the context. You obviously know that dragons aren't real in Game of Thrones, and yet seeing this shot of before special effects is incredible. The same goes with Pirates of the Caribbean, Life of Pi, Planet of the Apes, or Guardians of the Galaxy. There are thousands of before and after images for special effects, and I could honestly look through them all day. And finally at number one now, we have the smartphone. I feel like every time I talk about a smartphone in a top 10 video, I have to remind you guys about how common smartphones are these days, but it's pointless because you guys already know, they are everywhere. However, until very recently in human history, it wasn't that way. A great example of this are the images of people visiting St. Peter's Basilica. This one is from 2005, and the second one is from 2013. Almost every single person there is capturing the event with a smartphone or tablet. These pictures were taken just eight years apart, but they really show how fast technology is moving and how much phones have taken over our day-to-day -day lives. Well, here's an image of me at the start of the video, and here's one of me now. What an incredible difference. Time is scary. Now though, I want to know what you want to see on the channel next. My name is Danny Burke, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.